this control schematic is for the transformer feeder this is oil field transformer feeder suppose from 11 kb or 6.6 kb switch gear uh, that outgoing feeder is going to the step down transformer distribution transformer suppose lb 6.6 uh, by 415 volt or 11 kb by 415 volt transformer and uh, this is for oil field lb oil field transformer feeder so this is the control circuit this is the control uh, supply voltage 220 volt dc this is positive bus and this side is negative bus and this is spring charging uh, motor circuit this is the spring charging motor this is spring charging motor this is closing circuit and this is circuit breaker closing circuit and here is the 52 cc here is the circuit breaker closing coil this 94 is the anti-pumping feature when the breaker is in test position then this path will will throw and uh, in that case if you press the push button then this will operate this will go in this way this way this way this way and it will energize this 52 cc closing coil of the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker will be closed this is the service position if the breaker is in service position then this path will be followed and q1x is the interposing relay contact interposing relay auxiliary contact so it will be closed in uh, if you give command uh, to close the circuit breaker if you give command from dcs or plc so this k1x contact this contact will be closed then this path will be through here in this way this way here it will come and it will energize the closing coil of the circuit breaker if the circuit breaker is in service position then this path will be followed so this is 52x that means circuit breaker uh, stop command or trip command is not given in that case it will follow this path this path so circuit breaker is in uh, closed position because this 52cc already already energized so um, this contact will be closed 52a this is the uh, inner contact of the breaker so this will follow this path and this 30a 30a uh, relay uh, will pick up and in that case this 30a contact this inner contact will be closed and the breaker uh, and this is called the sealing of the breaker sealing of the circuit breaker so it will remain uh, in closed position this is the circuit breaker ceiling okay and this is the indication indication circuit so these are the indication circuit uh, breaker on off trip limit switch uh, spring charge limit switch uh, spring charge and this is uh, trip circuit supervision relay 74 74 contact multiplication this side is the trip circuit this is a trip circuit so suppose the breaker is in test position and uh, you want to trip the circuit breaker through the uh, local push button station so if you press the push button this uh, then this contact will be closed then it will go in this path it will follow it will follow this path and this is the trip coil of the circuit breaker so this trip coil will be energized and the circuit breaker will be tripped okay when the breaker is in service position then this will follow this path and k2x k2x is the command uh, given from dcs or plc so this is for a remote trip so if you want to close the circuit breaker from remote dcs or plc then uh, then through interposing relay here is the interposing relay this side this is the interposing relay circuit this is the main interposing relay contact k1 for closing the breaker and k2 for tripping the breaker so with the help of this uh, contact there is the contact contact multiplication relay so k1x and k2x you can see from dcs from dcs or plc this k1 uh, main interposing relay k1 and k2 uh, this signal is coming so if this k2x gets energized in that case this k2x this no contact will be closed and the breaker is in service position so this path will be through and it will 
it will energize this 52 tc close a uh, trip call of the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker will be tripped this is the uh, protection path this is the 86 uh, lockout relay main lockout relay if the lockout relay operates then the circuit breaker will be tripped okay and these are the additional these are the additional features for if, if you see if the a 87 that differential protection uh, that uh, differential protection operates or 64 uh, rf transformer rf protection uh, operates then also so the circuit breaker will, will be tripped if 51 s then operates if 50 this is the instantaneous phase over current this is inverse time phase over current 51 this 50 genes, uh, this is the uh, ground element so if these uh, relay any any of the uh, relays op operates then then it will trip the lockout this 86 relay and 86 relay contact this will be closed this 86 contact relay contact will be closed and in that case the circuit breaker will be tripped another Another option is also available. Suppose they, they, this is this is uh, since this is oil field transformer, there is the Buchholz relay inside the transformer. So if the Buchholz relay trip or the WTI level is high, that means winding transformer winding temperature indicator is high, or the OTI oil temperature indicator is high. It uh, if it exceeds the the set value of the oil temperature then then also the circuit breaker will be tripped so this is the tripping circuit basically this will uh, trigger the 86 I mean electrical lockout relay 86 and the contact this in contact of this 86 relay uh, will be operated will be closed and in that case this trip circuit uh, this trip coil of the circuit breaker will be uh, energized and the circuit breaker will be tripped And here are the contacts which are uh, which are needed to communicate with DCH or PLC. So this is the breaker status position, whether it is in service service position. So this signal is going to DCH or PLC. And then whether the breaker is trip, circuit breaker is on, motor spring charge uh, limit switch. This is the uh, 86 relay operated or not. 86 relay operated means the breaker 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 is trip. This is a uh, trip circuit supervision relay 74 74x. So these contacts uh, these contacts are available in the switch gear to communicate uh, with the uh, remote DCH or PLC.